hello and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here glad to have you today I'll be testing out the new max studio fix fluid foundation I'll also be testing this new formula against the old one so if you're interested in seeing this and hearing my thoughts please keep on watching MAC Cosmetics decided to reformulate their Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I wasn't expecting, I didn't see any heads up anywhere that they were going to reformulate the formula, but it was a pleasant surprise. So the first thought that came to mind was, I hope they add more shades. If you watched my previous videos on MAC, you'd know I always complain about the NC50 and NC55 shades. They were just not a very good match for me. I just couldn't find a perfect or a very comfortable match in the Studio Fix Fluid line. The only shade that was somewhat a manageable option was a C55 shade, which is a bit olive on me, but works better than the NC50 and NC55 shades. Now, funny enough, you would think the NC55 shade would be a little bit darker or warmer than the NC50 shade. This is not the case with MAC. Some of the deeper shades are actually lighter than the shades above them, which is a bit confusing sometimes. Now, NC50 and NC55 are both described as rich brown with golden undertones on Alta's website and on MAC as well. NC50 is described as rich brown with golden undertones, while NC55 is described as deep rich brown with golden undertones. So you expect them to have similar undertones, but NC55 to be a bit darker than NC50, but this is not the case with this shade. NC55 actually looks like it has more of a neutral olive undertone, while NC50 is spot on with the description. It's a golden undertone, but slightly warm. If I would have to pick which shade to wear, it would be NC50 because it has just a tiny bit of a red undertone, but the other one is just more neutral and leans towards being yellow or olive. Now I can comfortably wear the Radiance foundation because the shades are a lot more warmer than the Studio Fix Fluid foundation. So when I heard they had reformulated the matte line, I quickly went to the store. I got samples. I tried the foundations on bare skin, no moisturizer, and it felt really matte. So maybe because I tried it on bare skin, we're going to try it today, not on bare skin, but with um, my moisturizer and my regular routine for applying the foundation. Max Original Matte Foundation has been remastered with a soft matte finish. It's 7% skincare ingredients and easy to apply pump now in 67 shades. So now it comes with a pump just like the Radiance Foundation and we now have 67 shades. It's free from animal derived ingredients, recyclable glass bottle. Now comes with its 7% skincare ingredients including hyaluronic acid to hydrate skin and sugar kelp extract to control oil. It's now a 24 hour buildable breathable foundation with a natural soft matte finish in 67 good for skin shades made for all skin tones and textures. So the new formula now comes with 87% skin care including hyaluronic acid to help hydrate the skin and sugar kelp extract to help control oil. Now I was wishing they added a shade nearly after NC55 like NC 56.5 or something. Yeah, I would have been really happy to try that shit out. I decided not to purchase foundation, but I got samples because I know you'd want to see how it looks on the skin. So this is NC50 in the new formula, NC50 in the old formula, NC55 in the new formula, and NC55 in the old formula. Now it's weird because when I applied it, the new formula looked a little bit lighter than the old formula, but right um, in front of me it oxidized to match the old formula and it's joined faster than the old formula too I think the same thing with the NC55 shades the new formula seemed lighter a little bit lighter than the old formula now it's oxidizing it looks a little bit red on my skin which is giving me which is giving me some hope that it might match me so we're gonna see I had gone ahead and applied my skincare, including my primer. I used the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I have this in sample size, or I think this is mini or sample size. And then I also used my It's Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. For primer, I used the It's Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer, which is a pore refiner and hydrator. For foundation, I'd like to compare the old formula and the new formula. I have the old formula in the shade C55, 
which I have tried in the past and the new formula I'm going to try is NC50 so I'm going to do a side by side comparison to see if I can spot a difference between the two so I'm going to go in with the NC50 sheet Now it does have a smell but it's not it does have a smell but it's not a fragrance it's more like a fresh smell smell of skincare it doesn't feel as much as it did when I applied it on bare skin Okay, so the shade is not so bad probably because it oxidized because when I applied it the first day I applied it I was like no 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 it's still the same thing and some people said the old formula also oxidizes but I never had that experience oh maybe I just wasn't patient enough <laughs> so this is the new formula and here I don't have any foundation so it's not a bad shade match after all I'm gonna add some more This is beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the old formula on the side of my skin with a brush. I am done applying both shades and both foundations. I apply the new formula in the shade NC50 on the side of my face. And the old formula in the shade C55 on this side of my face. So the shade NC50 in this new formula is not a bad one. NC50 matches me because it oxidizes a little bit. When I applied it the first time, it looked too light, but now it's looking like it worked. So this is very normal with people in these Georgian foundations and thinking, oh, it's not my shade. You know, that's why you need to let the foundation sit and marinate on your skin to know if it matches you or not. So NC50 works beautifully, flawlessly for me. Now this is C55, which is also not a bad shade. You can tell it has a lot of olive undertones. Now I can make this work. I usually make it work. The old formula went on more smoothly and easily than new formula the new formula seems to dry down a little bit faster than the old formula i feel that the old formula is more easy to work with in terms of blending the old formula has a fragrance the new formula also has a smell or a scent to it but it's not it doesn't smell like perfume or anything you know of that nature it smells more like something fresh like something that has to do with skin care or, or natural product and it's all for women as well it's good now I like the way the new formula looks on the skin I like the way it sits on the skin it looks more flawless to me than the old formula now if you have oily skin this will probably be one of your faves because this will work really pretty good on your skin I have normal to dry skin which is why I noticed how tight and uncomfortable it was without anything on my skin so if you have dry skin don't even attempt to put it on your skin without skin care underneath it it's just going to be very uncomfortable and it is transfer resistant I use some skin care that might interfere with how transfer resistant it is but on its own it is transfer resistant which is why I'm not going to do a transfer test this one also looks flawless on the skin but I prefer this one now I'm gonna go off camera and complete the rest of my makeup so this is the final look with the new max studio fix fluid foundation the old formula and the rest of my complexion product now remember I applied the shade NC50 in the new formula 
on the side of my face and the shade C55 in the old formula on this other side of my face. I like the way the whole look came together. I like the foundation. Now the coverage is a medium to full coverage. It's a medium to buildable coverage. So I was able to get a full coverage after applying more and more. So it's very buildable. The foundation is also marketed as being able to control oils. And I do have a lot of oils around my T-zone each time I wear foundation. So I'm going to do a wear test to see if the foundation will be able to control my oils. And we are also going to test to see which of the formulas wear well. The time now is 12.52 p.m. I'm going to begin my wear test now. Wear it for about, say, six hours. Then I'll come right back, show you how it looks, and give you my final thoughts. So don't go anywhere. So I am done with my wear test, and this is how my face looks after about six to seven hours of wear the time now is 7 10 p.m so i'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit so you can see how it looks up close i am very impressed with how the foundation wear turned out i do have a shine around my t-zone but it's just very minimal. I typically have more shine around my, my nose area than I have on my forehead and the sides of my nose. As you can see, the product has really held back my oils from coming through, which is very impressive for me. Now, this is the side of my face. I wore the new formula in the shade NC50. As you can see, everything still looks intact. The, I'm talking about the other parts of my face still looks very intact. There's no crease lines anywhere no breaking apart anywhere now i do have a faint line here which i'm not going to blame on the foundation because i've had a lot of laughs and i watched a rerun of wrestlemania where the rock was having this convo in the ring with cody Rhodes and saying saying a lot of you know he talks a lot of you know what i mean <laughs> so i kept on laughing and screaming so i should have a lot of small lines picking through or crease lines picking through but i really don't which is very impressive i don't have any crease lines on my forehead as well now initially i thought i had just about the same amount of oils for both sides but i'm seeing i have there are certain areas i have oils where i applied the old formula i had i have the old formula here so i have a shine just slightly beginning to show around this area of my face I can see them just around here up to my jawline area here which I really don't have here I don't see that shine here on the side you know but it's so minimal here that you can you can barely catch it but I can catch it because I see it coming through it's just a very subtle difference in terms of how much oil is speaking through um, on both sides of my face so I can say I am very impressed I like the foundation this foundation is very good at controlling oils as you can see I slept for like an hour with this foundation normally when you sleep with foundation on the chances of oils picking through is high so I expected that by the time I would wake up I'll get a lot of oils but when I woke up I was it was still fine so I'm very impressed with the foundation and I highly recommend it another thing I like about this new formula is the skincare the addition of skincare ingredients to it now when I tried it the first time I thought it was very similar to the Estee Lauder uh, foundation double wear foundation in terms of the way it sits on the skin the way it feels the way it looks now I'm gonna go ahead and reapply powder to my face I didn't need to do much all I needed to do was just tap just tap onto the areas where I had started getting some shine or oils and I was good to go I didn't really really have to do put a lot of powder onto the area and I'm still looking as good as new very impressed with this new formula I like that it can control oils for a long period of time I like that it reduces the look of pores and reduces shine for a very long period of time I like that I give my skin a very flawless and blurred appearance even though it looks natural it's not cakey I like that it's just a very beautiful formula and I highly recommend it so this is where I end my video for today if this is your first time on my channel I hope you consider subscribing to my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for coming back on to my next video have a blessed night and stay safe